Hi everyone, my name is Zafar Siyab Khan Masood and this video is based on my fluid mechanics lab report. This is being supervised by my instructor engineer Muhammad Salman. Before we proceed, I want to clear up a few things. This report is based on five different experiments. This one is solely dedicated to only one of these experiments. And the other experiments, they have been mentioned below in the description. You can visit their links. And lastly, each one of these experiments is then subdivided into three different parts. First of all, where we explain and name the parts of the apparatus. Second, we explain the procedure, how the experiment has been performed. And third but not least, we give you all the lab observation and calculations we made. Hope that sums up all the confusion. Enjoy. So this is the Bernoulli's apparatus. It might look it's bundled up in a lot of tubes, but it's actually quite simple. So this is how it overall looks. Simple, isn't it? First thing to note are the water inlet and outlet pipes. Where these flexible pipes connect to is called the Venturi meter. This is the air head screw used to remove air from inside the apparatus. There are a total of 8 manometers, each one connected to its respective typing point. This is the hydrometric probe. And yes, the most important thing in every apparatus is their adjustable stands. Okay. We first turn on the hydraulic bench and adjust the control valve to some random speed. We might need to change that afterwards. We also open the water outlet valve and remove the air head screw. We do this to remove any air inside the apparatus. We also might need to place our thumb on the air screw valve momentarily and slowly to remove the air. Now we can see how there are air bubbles inside the apparatus and we don't want that. After adjusting the apparatus with the air screw head and the water outlet pipe, we can see how the water has been removed and all the heads are stable. Now our experiment has been properly calibrated. We can see that just by changing the water outflow, we can see different types of readings on the manometers. Yes, don't forget to place the air screw valve back into its own place. Now, after calibrating it again, we are seeing different static head values in each manometer. You might need an extra hand because this is a tedious experiment. This is how our venturometer looks like when it's under use. There are six typing points named alphabetically along the tube from A to F. You can observe that we are pulling out the hydrometric probe. Initially, whatever readings we were having on the manometer, they all are actual static head values. As we pull out the hydrometric probe, we are getting the actual total head at each typing point in the eighth manometer tube. You can check our group member who is pointing at each tapping point and their respective manometers at the same time pointing out the 8 manometer tube where it shows us the total head, the actual total head at each tapping point. <laughs> 